Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome to episode zero of a brand new series on the channel that is kind of brought to you by my patrons because you probably have heard me talk a little bit about this series upcoming or coming up rather. And let me explain exactly what it is and why it's brought to you by my patrons because they had a vote over on patreon.com slash hobby underscore night. And basically what the vote was for was me starting a brand new army, which I'm super excited to do. I haven't done this since basically I got into eighth edition and built the uh, Death Guard. While I have helped the Chaos Cultist build his Necrons and I certainly have built up my Space Marines, I have built Space Marines prior to this and this is a brand new start for me. This is basically, I've never transitioned into a new edition while having been playing and actually going into a new army with a new edition and my patreon or my patrons have helped me choose which one it is we first had a vote on basically is it going to be imperium is it going to be xeno or is it going to be chaos well it turns out they wanted to see me do something for the xeno and i was more than happy to do that so i put up another vote where they got to choose between the tau the orcs and the tyranids and it was actually a pretty close race between the nids and the orcs but ultimately the orcs as you might have realized won and i'm more than thrilled for that because you guys may realize that i'm really hyped for the new beast snag orcs which i got the box and i've already started building some stuff i've actually put together what i think this list is going to be now that they've helped me choose hey guess what you're going to be building an orc list so let's go ahead, look through this codex a little bit. I do want to show off a few of the models that I've already started building up as we talk about the lists and everything, but I figured it might be cool to first start with this book because one, there's always really cool artwork in these codexes. Plus, I just want to talk about the list and actually to go over a little bit of what is the series, what the series is going to have upcoming in regards to episodes and what my patrons are going to be able to vote on next because the vote has actually just gone up yesterday and basically what they're going to choose is what i'm painting for my hq that you'll be able to see on the channel and the options as we begin going through my list are going to be the war boy a pain boss or maz grog skazgrag which i'm super hyped to be running like i know he's somewhat limited because he's a named character so he has restrictions on specifically like what can he you know take for his warlord trait and all of that kind of stuff but i don't really care because he's really cool i really really want to paint and run that squigasaurus because it looks amazing champa looks so gosh darn cute and i really just want to paint him so he's been added to the list now what additionally though am i going to be running because like that's what they're getting to choose on between my patrons, actually. That's what the vote is, if I hadn't already said that, because I can't remember now, because I got really distracted by being very excited about Skazgrog. But they get to choose which of those three HQ units I'll be painting on screen. Now, obviously, I'll be painting all of them eventually, but I can't wait, honestly, to find out which one I'll actually be doing on camera, because I have some ideas for each of them, and I think they're going to be a little bit different from what I've done previously. And also, if it does end up being Skazgrog, that's going to be really rad, because I just... I've never painted a squig before. And I haven't actually painted any of the other squigs that come in the Beast Snaga box yet. So he may actually end up being the first one, who knows. Let's go ahead and also keep going with the troops and everything. Actually, we're gonna pause very briefly because I got to what clan I'm running. So for my orcs, as you may have noticed from the knob video that I put out on Friday, I'm going with a snake bite clan look because I really, one, like the synergy between the Beast Snagas and the Snakebite Clan. GW kind of previewed that a little bit and everything, and it really spoke to me. And then after having read this page and a little bit more about the rules and everything, I just really like it. I think it's gonna be very fun. Also, the color palette for the Snake Bites is really cool to me. Um, it's very muted, which is not normally what I do. Normally, I tend to go with really bright, bold colors. Even for my Chaos guys, I went, like my Plague Marines are super bright and bold. I used a lot of very vivid colors on them. But for these guys, I'm actually going to lean into the contrast line of like brown tones, which I absolutely adore. Um, but I also still get to play with a little bit of color because obviously their skin tones are going to be very, very bright. 
but they also have a little bit of blue and a little bit of a green, which you can kind of see here in their iconography and everything. So I'm really excited to be playing with those color tones. And you can kind of see that actually on my boys. Let me just get that to focus. So these are some of the boys that we've been starting to paint up. And there is going to be a, so back to the list, because it involves these guys, I'm gonna have three 10-man squads of Beast Naga boys, and they're each going to be led by a knob in power, um, or with his power snapper, which obviously you guys have seen that guy. Sorry about shaking the camera a little bit there. Um, but you guys have obviously seen him because I painted him on Friday, but you haven't really seen some of my other boys. Now I've got a few more that have the green flesh tone. Ooh, there we go. The green flesh tone, which I really like. Also look at that Gorgrunta flesh on the fur. It looks spectacular. I absolutely love it. Um, but I also have been painting, and these were actually painted by the Chaos Cultists, but one of the things that we're doing is we are going with some yellow flesh tones as well. And I really, really like the way this is turning out. Um, I really like having variety in my horde list, especially when it comes to their flesh tones, just to add a bit of like differentiation, play with a little bit more color. Um, I did this a lot with my pox walkers and I just, I had so much fun with it that I wanted to transition it into these orcs. And I think this is a really good way to do it. So I think I'm gonna be sticking with the green and the yellow flesh tones and not doing too much more than that. Um, but I really can play with some of the shades and actual like brightnesses there. So I'm really looking forward to that. So there's three 10 man squads of them. Now, what are we gonna be doing for the elites? We have five commandos that are coming in with the kill team box set. Cause I do want to pick that set up and go ahead and add these guys in because I want also the Krieg models from it. And additionally, specifically for this list, I really, really, really want the terrain actually from the Kill Team box set. Because um, I think that would be really just fun to paint up and also thematically have it go with my Beast Snagas, even though they're not quite as like scrappy, I guess, as maybe that art like terrain implies but i think it's still gonna be really cool and i think I, i'm gonna put like their color scheme on it it's gonna be really cool um briefly i really i almost went with freebooters i did debate it very briefly but i ultimately went with snake bite um so that is going to be what i'm doing for an elite and i figure also this just it kills two birds with one stone because i'm getting the box for all of the other reasons i've just listed plus it fills out part of this list and we're going with a thousand points so i figured that would just be a nice addition to it and easy to pick up i look at the art in this you guys it's so cool like i love seeing all these green boys like all these bright green boys against this muted like terrain and just they look so rad i just i get really distracted sometimes by the art in these books especially hey it's my boy <sighs> They look so cool. And it's the pain boss. What a, what a great, what a great book. Gosh, sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. So we've gone through the elite, the troops and the HQ. The remaining bits are going to be my fast attack. And I'm going to be basically running um, what comes in the Beast Snaga box um, with some additional stuff. There's gonna be the knob um, on the smash a squig, which is like, he looks so cool. He might actually end up being the first squig that I end up painting if I, if, depending on when Skrasgrog, Skrasgrog, oh my gosh, Scars, Skarg bad. God, I can't say words today. Um, depending on when he comes out, he may end up being painted first, but it's gonna be, hey there, there's one of them. Um, and then we're going to be running, I'm all over the place. I'm very hyped by this. I'm also a little bit warm because it's a little warm in this room. Um, I'm also going to be running three three man units of squig hog boys because I just thematically I feel like it fits. Um, I just I'm really looking forward to this. And what's great is basically that's the thousand points. And when I'm done with that, my plan is to expand out and maybe bring in other things because I actually have a um, a stampa. Um, actually at Games of Berkeley, um, just sitting there that needs to be painted and I could do it up in a snake bite color scheme to go along with my boys. So that could be really cool. I definitely like this big tank thing here that I can't remember the name of. Um, the the Hunter version, I believe is the one that I was wanting to look at for that. So there's lots of things that I can add in to this list down the line and actually like play around with. 
So I wanted to show a little bit more of what I'm working on right now before we wrap up, because I've got a few more of the boys. Let's go ahead and get these in focus. And I've been working on them off camera. This was something I actually started to do when I was working on the knob. Um, and so, like I said, I'm doing a couple more with the yellow skin. I actually also have basically everything else clipped out already from the, um, the Beast Snaga's box. So I've got a few more, like another 10 man squad in progress. We've got some of our squig boys that just need to be built up. And then of course I do actually have the wizard. Oops, that's probably a little loud, sorry about that. Um, so I do have the wizard and I've got him in pieces because I figured it's gonna make painting him a lot easier. You can kind of tell, whoop, let me get that a little bit better. So like here's his body. I've went ahead and attached his arms because I just, I really don't like having to attach the, um, the arms to a model after I've painted them sometimes because I always worry I'm gonna overload the paint and then shave down too much of it, also shaving too much of the plastic and then they're not gonna fit correctly. So I went ahead and attached the arms. We'll find out if I regret that. And then I have his face and hair and everything separate. And I've already picked out what base I'm gonna be putting on because as you may have noticed in my video, I am going with the pre-done bases from Gamers Grass. Well, I figure this one actually kind of blended really well because that's the one disadvantage to using these kinds of bases sometimes is they, you know, they've already got stuff on them. So if you end up, end up having a model that has texture on its base itself, you may not end up being able to use them and it may not blend as well. But I think this actually goes pretty well and I can get an additional tufts and just like add it in there. So I'm really hyped for this. He's not going to be in my main thousand point list that um, this series is going to be focusing on or anything, but you'll probably see me paint him up on Instagram. But that has basically been what I wanted to talk about for this episode. We've gone over the list. We know what is coming up for the next episode. It's going to be me painting one of the HQ units. The patrons are going to have basically until mid-August to be able to vote on what they are wanting to see me paint. So if you want to get in on that, you can definitely go and join at the Hobby Night tier. That is when you get to vote. But I have been Angela. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, especially to my patrons for helping not only get this series going, but just supporting me and being able to make it so that I can continue to make content like this. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. But I've been Angela. You've been watching Hobby Night and I will see you guys next time. Bye.